we're sitting here at Ellsworth Harley Davidson where they're gonna where they've helped me out with uh, all my motor parts and all my upgrading. Uh, I'm gonna be running here and grab all my stuff. Come in and check it out. Now they do have this cool little package deal here. Got a trike. So this place has a full parts department and a repair service center. Nice little V-Rod sitting here. They have a Screaming Eagle Destroyer. Harley's factory drag bike. No, those are not. Uh, those are not NOS bottles. Those are actually for the little air canisters for the air shifter. We got a Dyna Street Bob. This is one bike I looked at for a while sitting here. A little 105 year anniversary 1200 Sporty. A little C50 Boulevard. And they got some CF Moto quads out here. Another Heritage. Street Glide. Electric Glide Standard. An electric Glide. A 110 Screaming Eagle. This one's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see all the details in the paint on that one. A little special paint job. So if anybody knows what this is, leave a comment down below. I will put in the description what this one is. It's a 110 Screaming Eagle Street Glide. Beautiful paint job. Nice. Nice bike. Lots of glitter in this one. If you know what this one is, leave a comment. Again, this one I'll put the description down in the bottom. We got all kinds of clothes, helmets. You're always sitting here playing, aren't you? Yeah. It's your favorite spot, isn't it? It's a fat boy sitting here. Let's get home and get a lot of this unboxing done. I'm just gonna take my stock fender here. I'm just gonna, I've removed all the emblems, decals and everything. I'm gonna take, fill in all these holes here, one to the front, tack me some couple of sides in here, drill out these rivets that are in the sides, weld those in, fill them out, a nice clean fender. And think about chopping these little ears off, we're doing some new ones so it actually sets down on the tire a little closer and gives it a more lowered stance look. Wonderful. Thanks, guys. Should let the table up, huh? Uh, I like it.
watching this. back down and fill in any more little holes that might need it yes I know my welds are the best but it's been like about 10 years since I've been welding it'll work it's for me I don't care So I'm sitting there working on these uh, saddlebag conversion kits here, just cutting off the ends of the bolts. It's a hardware kit that didn't come with these things, so you've got to make pay attention to that, see what you get or not. But you can get this one cut and get this uh, attached and get them bags put on. <laughs> The rubbers that came with the kit don't exactly fit, but we found some rubber hose. Just kind of cut those to fit. And that works a whole lot better. But I am glad that the foot pegs actually work where I have them. Should be pretty good. Get the slip put on here. Still gotta get all the hinges and locks and everything else installed here. But just kind of just getting all mocked up. Seeing what I gotta do. Seeing how it's all gonna fit. Seeing how it's all going to go together. Uh, still got to get the other side done. I got to get take this off because that that's not going to work until I get the bags put on. These got to come off anyway. I've got a I've already got my other pipes for this, so we'll get that one figured out. See, no light bar. I found. I've got some really cool old school antique style tail lights that I'm going to cut and drill in here. I haven't got them in yet, but they're on the way. Those would be real cool. I've always wanted to have that. We ended up going for a really good ride uh, last weekend. So, came home and did a quick grind on it. Still got a lot of the grinding to do left. But just put a coat of paint on it so it wouldn't exactly rust up. Uh, but this is how I'm, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna cut these little ears off and set this down. What do you guys think? Y'all think that looks all right? Set down like this or not? I like it. So this is what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna get back to uh, mocking this stuff up, and then we'll figure out what kind of after I get that after I get this side mocked in. I'm going to come back and figure out what I have here. And I'm going to try to find me a fiberglass fender. So finally got this side put on. I think it's going to look really good. The foot pegs work really well here. Be able to put our foot there and not get in my bags. I'm going to go ahead and get these pipes taken off here. I'm going to get my other ones put on. 
I want to kind of get everything mocked up and see how that all fits in here. Here is the motor upgrade. I've been waiting on this thing to come in. I've been kind of wanting to see this. Four inch bore cylinders. Why oh, not King of Beauty? Oh my God! SNS hit. SNS jugs. Got a little piston ring sitting here. What well, isn't that a thing of beauty? Fum, 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 fum. Ah, comes with red Loctite, engine lube, lifters. We got our cam plate. Our oil pump. We got our bearings. We have our bearings. We got the adjustable uh, push rods and the push rod covers. We got our hydraulic cam chain tensioner. Five eighty five easy start cams. I haven't told y'all I was gonna do yet. It involves a Dremel, tungsten carbide cutters, I'm going to I'm gonna diamond cut these jugs and the heads on the bike once I get those off. And I've been searching for a full set of uh, black fin covers for every cover on on this motor because i want to diamond cut those as well and my theme kind of is anything that touches chrome is going to be black and anything that is black is going to have chrome on it so i think that's going to turn out pretty well but i'm going to get off here and go over here and try to get these uh pipes taken off i uh, don't know how that's going to go because most of you already know they've been sitting on here since 2004 Probably not gonna come off so easy and I hope I do not snap <laughs> those studs off. Sitting here trying to keep you guys updated on what's going on. Um, so leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think, how it's going so far. I'm gonna get back to doing some more stuff on this. As always, like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell and stay up to date on the next video that's coming out. All right, we got a quick little update. I've been kind of working on getting the fenders all sanded down here. But I did end up getting my pipes put on here. And I say, I think that looks really well. So, these things sound really good. Cannot wait to hear what these sound like with the bigger cams and jugs. Check this out, guys. Probably going to blow out the speaker. We'll find out. I think that's gonna sound really good. We'll see you guys later.